Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today we'll learn how to run Ansible playbook to install JDK as well as configure Tomcat in Azure Virtual Machine. As you see, I am logged in in my AWS portal and I have my Ansible controller set up and it is running. If you want to know how did I set up Ansible controller, please check my earlier videos and you will get to know every steps how did I set up Ansible and how I connected to remote host by SSH public key. Now in this tutorial, we will be authenticating remote host by password only, not the SSH public key. That will be very quickly as I will show you how to do it. So as you see, in my AWS management portal, I have Ansible controller running and here in my console, here is the Ansible installation here. Now let's go to Microsoft Azure. Here I will be creating few remote host. So I'll be creating one remote host only. So clicking on virtual machine, click create a virtual machine, just simply creating one virtual machine. So I'm not going any configuration detail. So just giving a machine name, remote host. Selecting this image, Ubuntu server 18.04 LTS. You can select as you want. And now it is showing that one vCPU 0.5 gigs memory it is five dollars something per month okay let's say that because we after use we will just terminate this thing authentication type i am using password to make it easier for us now let's add one username over here i have added this password and now selected port yes by default ssh let it be just clicking on review and cl create and click on create and it is showing your deployment is underway meanwhile let me take you to the ansible server and the playbook we have which we will be running to install jdk as well as configure tomcat into this newly created instance let me show you how it is so i'm doing a cat ubuntu playbook it is our playbook name dot yml and see the name of the playbook is configure in remote host and this is the remote host host which we configured and we have to set the new IP here so as you know that we have the inventory file that is called by default host so here is my inventory file let me open it and I see that we have these groups and I will be just updating the group with the newly created uh, IP of this resource. So clicking on that and just copying this public IP. So I have just copying this public IP and I'm here. Now I am just updating it for one group. So it will not mess up my other group. And along with that IP, you provide Ansible underscore user, which is the username as you see. I created the same username in that remote system and ansible underscore password. This is the password I added in my remote system and same you have to provide in your inventory file. And this group name is my remote hosts. So I'm just saving the inventory file now. And again, just let me clear it and let's open our playbook once more so now we have uh, updated our remote host this group in our inventory file gather facts true i used to keep it true so if there is any issue it gives me elaborated uh, details so what happened and how to fix it it is very easier become yes it is just becoming your um, when we will be installing JDK you need to be the sudo 
privilege you need to have the pseudo privilege so that's the reason that's we have created because tomcat when we will be installing tomcat has 8080 port by default but in configuration through the configuration we want to change that port number to 8282 now our first task is update repos so we will be updating this repository next installing open jdk so we have provided this open jdk 8 and we are downloading tomcat this is the url we have provided let me show you how did i get this url so open google.com and just go to download tomcat go to this apache tomcat link since i am downloading tomcat 8 so i clicked on this left side panel download tomcat 8 just scroll it down you will find this tar.zz right click on this and copy link address over here so once you copy this link address just go to your playbook and paste it it is the same url because from this url it will download the package now where will be the destination because i want to install the tomcat in remote system under uacer local so that's why i have provided this now extracting tomcat because it will download the package by tar.zz we have to unzip that package so to unzip that package the command is unarchive source from where this tar.zz it will get and destination where it will unzip that file and remote source yes because we are doing it in the remote host now we are renaming the tomcat home because once it will unzip it the directory name will be apache tomcat 8556 like that based on your version but to make it easier we will be renaming it to tomcat simply now changing the port if we don't change the port that is also okay if you need the tomcat to run by default on 8080 it's okay but if your application needs that your tomcat should be working on a different port number then i have shown here that how you can change the port now changing the port we have used the template here and it is ginger 2 template it is called ginger 2 template here what i have done that let me show you this server xml dot j2 let me clear the screen cat server dot xml dot j2 as you see it is the exact same file which i copied from tomcat installation the sir it is actually the server.xml and i renamed it like server.xml.j2 and another thing i changed if i scroll down and let me show you that this connector port this connector port i have added one variable that is called tomcat underscore port here by default it was 8080 but since we are changing i have added one variable over here now let me show you where did i defined that variable so clearing the screen once again and let me open our playbook see in variable in this playbook in variable i have defined the tomcat port as 8282 so did this server.xml.j2 means it is jinja 2 template where it will replace this variable with 8282 value and we will be changing the port now after changing this port we have to push this server.xml file to the destination over here means our destination is actually the remote host and this source is actually this file is inside the ansible server remember here this source file is in the ansible server and the destination is actually 
the remote server where we are pushing so once we are pushing this template which is server.xml.j2 in the destination in the remote server which is usr local tomcat conf server.xml it will actually replace the existing server.xml with the updated server.xml with the new port number 8282 now updating the users and role updating context xml restrictions and updating restrictions for the host manager these are the three things you know that when you configure tomcat you do it manually but we are doing it through this ansible playbook and these are nothing but the same way i copied tomcat dash users dot xml from tomcat installation have made the changes let me show you how did i do so let me clear it once again and cat tomcat it is the exact same file from tomcat installation what did i do usually this portion this user name and this role are commented so i have removed the comment and i opened it and as well as i have added few user with this role and defined the password as well well now the same way i have done for the other files also let me show let me clear it and cat our playbook file the next file is our context file there are two context file under manager directory another host manager directory and in context file also i have done the required changes so this source is always inside the ansible server and this is the destination where we will be pushing this changed updated file to this remote host well so let me clear it finally and we will be running this playbook and we will see whether we are able to install jdk open jdk 8 as well as configure tomcat in our newly created system or not so let's go back to our system once again this is the newly created instance virtual machine and let's open it through proty just to verify that it is completely new and we have not done anything else okay so let's logging into it well we are able to log in now let's see whether there is any java already installed or not very nice so as it's showing that there is no java installed and let's see that there is any trace of tomcat in this newly created virtual machine or not so let's go to user local let me clear this and we don't have anything here as well because the tomcat there is no existence of the tom tomcat because in through our playbook we will be installing tomcat in this directory well so my left side is my ansible server and right side is my a newly created virtual machine where we don't have any trace of java or the tomcat we have just checked and left side is my ansible server now what we will do that we will run the playbook here so to run the playbook the command is ansible playbook the playbook name press enter it's showing using a ssh password instead of a key is not possible because the host checking is enabled and ssh pass does not support let's check the connection from ansible server to the new virtual machine whether it is able to connect it or not so to do that the command is ssh hyphen p22 means port 
username of the remote host and the IP address give enter it is asking are you sure you want to continue connecting give yes add the password and we are able to connect it so from ansible server we are able to connect to the newly created virtual machine which is in microsoft azure well now let's give a try once more to run our playbook okay since it is connected to this virtual machine so we have to do exit first yeah we are back to our ansible system and now ansible playbook playbook name and enter now our playbook has started executing as you see it has updated the repositories and showing changed changed means it has updated and if it shows ok means it was already updated just it checked so now the next task it is executing which is installing open jdk it has completed two tasks which is Installing OpenJDK, downloading Tomcat, extracting Tomcat, renaming Tomcat, now changing the port, updating users and role. Very nice. Now updating context and updating restrictions. Starting Tomcat. And it's done. So let's see first. Let's check the Java whether it has installed or not. As you see that OpenJDK 1.8.0 has been installed. So let's see whether it has installed Tomcat or not. So as we see that the Tomcat folder has been installed and on the left hand side it is showing that starting Tomcat. So it has started the Tomcat already. So let's see whether the Tomcat process is running or not. PS minus EF graph tomcat and we see that the process is running so we should be able to open the tomcat portal definitely right let's go to azure portal copy this public ip but one thing we are running tomcat on 8282 this port number so we have to go to networking on the left side and we have to allow one inbound port so i clicked on this add inbound security role and just adding 828 to port number which is tcp changing the name 8282 and adding it so basically we are opening the 8282 port for this particular virtual mission now it has added we are just going back to the virtual machine copying this public IP opening a new tab 8282 enter and our Apache Tomcat is up and running so this is how you have installed automatically the tomcat configured it with by changing the port number and it is up now we did the role user configuration and restriction to check this server status so if i click on this server status it should ask right this username and password now i forgot the username and password so let me go and check what was the username and password let me clear this screen first and i kept it under tomcat users so the path username was tomcat and password was aws take guide 123 okay tomcat and aws take guide 
one two three click yes and our manager portal is here so today we have learned how to run playbook to install JDK and configure Tomcat into a completely new virtual machine in Azure. You can create this virtual machine in with any service provider. It is like you can create the same virtual machine with uh, AWS or with Google Cloud Platform or in Azure as I have created. And the same way you connect to the remote host from your Ansible server. And again, I'm telling if you have not seen how did I set up uh, Ansible server and I wrote the playbook, then please check the earlier videos in this series. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you in our next tutorial.